Welcome to this video on time management for college students. First, why do we need to manage our time effectively? Well, to achieve goals, be efficient, gain a sense of control, gain a sense of balance, reduce stress, give time to the important parts of our lives, make smarter choices, and last but not least, enjoy life. So consider this. There are 168 hours in a week. This chart shows the average amount of hours per week college students spend on various activities. Notice the amount carved out for studying, averaging at 10 hours a week. That's too low. Here we see a typical first semester college student in an engineering program with 15 credits. So this student should multiply the number of credits by two or three for how much to study per week. That works out to be 30 to 45 study hours per week, and that's not counting the in-class time. So, let's start again with 168 hours a week to find out how much time we really have. If we sleep 8 hours a day, that's 56 hours a week right there. Then about 21 hours to get ready and eat, etc. 15 hours in actual class. And let's put in 30 hours just for studying. That gives us a huge chunk of 46 hours left in a week. Think about how you spend that time, including, for example, commuting, exercising, working, on social media, relaxing, texting, or socializing. One way to get a sense of where your time goes is to fill out a wheel of productivity. You start with a wheel of 24 hours with different tasks that will fill up time. Then color in what your day looks like. This gives a great visual of what a typical day looks like for you. So let's talk about six steps to better time management. Number one, create a set of schedules. Number two, set goals. Three, utilize your time wisely. Four, avoid time wasters. Five, don't make excuses. And six, get motivated. Okay, so let's talk about creating schedules. So first, start with a master calendar. This could be a traditional planner, an app on your phone, or an email calendar like Google. Then in this master schedule, start plugging in your class and lab times first. Assignments, exams, fixed activities like working, social plans. Also make room for longer series like writing papers and studying for exams. Then, evaluating your schedule, you may wish to input appointments, plans for other projects, and etc. Then plan on reviewing your calendar at night or in the morning and make a daily task to-do list, ideally with the ability to strike things off as you go. For example, Google Calendar has a to-do list built in with its calendar app. Now let's talk about smart goal setting to make sure you get everything done that you've organized for yourself. That means to be specific with your goals that you can measure progress, that are realistically attainable, relevant, and timely. When first filling out the basics of your schedule, be sure to utilize free time productively. For example, with study sessions, reviewing notes, pursuit of hobbies or exercise, laundry and chores, and certainly fun with friends and family. Avoid time wasters like TV, oversleeping, mindless internet surfing, allowing your phone to distract you, or social media. The Eisenhower Decision Matrix is a clever way to tackle how to prioritize between what's important to focus on now and what to put off. You have four boxes, the important row with urgent and not urgent, and then the not important row with needing immediate attention, or both not urgent and not important, like time wasters and such. You'll put the top left square into your daily to-do list while reviewing your calendar. Find time for the lower left box like laundry or chores, and ensuring the lower right box doesn't eat up much time. Now let's talk procrastination. So let's say you're combating putting projects off. The task is overwhelming? Break it down. The task is tedious? Focus on the end goal. Don't know where to start? Pick anything and begin. Lack of skill. Get comfortable seeking help. Contact your TA, speak with your peers, research tutorials, go to the math help place, etc. And very importantly, don't make excuses. Don't say you'll do things after today, 
or after I get more organized, after a long nap, after this show, after I text some, social media, internet browsing. Putting things off until tomorrow has a snowball effect, resulting in never completing a project or scrambling right before a deadline. Here are some tips and tricks to be mindful of. Learn to say no. Keeping to a schedule is a habit and a skill. It may take several weeks of practice to get it right and feel on top of your busy semester. Always be conscious of deadlines to avoid becoming overwhelmed. Exceptions will occur, but always return to your calendar. Some things to remember. Be sure to reward yourself. Fight entropy. Catch yourself when you become distracted. Plans don't always go accordingly. Make room for exceptions. Time management is a skill. It takes time to perfect. And hard work always pays off. Now let's talk about a mental hurdle to overcome. The fudge ratio planning fallacy. Basically, we afford ourselves an illogical optimism bias. People almost always underestimate the time needed to get something done. When envisioning completing a goal, we assume a best case scenario, whereas realistically, things take longer with ebbs and flows. So try this out, for example, with completing, say, a study guide for chemistry exam coming up. You'll estimate it'll take 60 minutes to finish. In reality, let's say it takes 90 minutes to complete the study guide. 90 divided by 60 equals one and a half times longer. So divide actual time by your optimistic estimated time, and that gives you the fudge ratio. So when planning a task to complete, multiply your estimated time by one and a half to get a more realistic timeline. Like writing a paper, for example, there's a lot of back and forth to get it right, and more revision and editing than you anticipate as a best guess. So give yourself more time in your planner. Well, that concludes this video. I hope it provided helpful tips to gain efficiency, meaning, and happiness out of your time. Thanks for watching.